Hey, Coach, uh, with nearly the last uh, five minutes without a field goal, what were you seeing in the last down the stretch yeah, as far as offensive execution? No, it's kind of been an issue for us all year, you know, not being able to uh, uh, score in the fourth quarter efficiently. So uh, kind of follows the trend. I thought we played you know, pretty well for third, you know, three quarters. Uh, we're in the game and, uh, um, you know, struggled scoring at the end. I'll, I'll have to go through it and look at the quality shots. I thought we had a ton of good looks. And we were, I think, under 50% at the rim. So we're getting to the rim. I just we weren't finishing. Uh, obviously, the free throws, uh, you know, uh, got there, didn't make them, make enough. So a lot of, you know, like like every game, a lot of, a lot of different things. How, how do you address the free throw shooting? <laughs> You know, we, we, we'll practice it. We practice it all the time. And, and uh, you know, I think it's confidence. I think guys, I think we're 27th or 28th in the league in free throw shooting. So um, I think guys, you know, we take account of that and work on it. And, and uh, you know, my job is to get them confidence, keep getting getting to the rim, keep getting to the line. I like the fact that we took 30 free throws. I thought that was that was good. Um, um, but we got two days, you know, we got two days here. Uh, we obviously got to, you know, clean some things up. I, I thought tonight, uh, defensively, is you know wasn't a great performance. You know, that's two nights, uh, two nights in a row where we we really struggled to to stop the other team. So uh, we can talk about the offense, but on the road, you got to you got to get stops. You got to play well defensively. We we didn't. We went with the three guards in the last five minutes. Uh, we've been talking about that lineup a lot, and they got outscored 17-5. What did you see from that mix, and what, yeah, what do you need to work? It on? wasn't it wasn't uh, gelling, you know. I, 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 I have to have to admit that, and and uh, I think I we got Joe back in there uh, for Karras, you know. Uh, we're just gonna have to find what that what that combination looks like, and it's it's I think it'll be game to game. I think it's a feel. Uh, uh, you know, balancing, uh, uh, playing those guys together. I thought they were they were they were good the night before. You know, tonight it wasn't uh, wasn't perfect. Um, so that's something we gotta we gotta look at the next two days. So just kept knocking on the door. I think Matt, seven or eight times they got it to one, and you kept answering that. And then with a I think six point lead, you gave up that fourteen to four run, and you, you guys didn't seem to be able to find your. Yeah. Footing after that. I mean, how disappointing is that? You can't find your footing on those. It's disappointing when you don't close games in this league. I thought again. I thought we played uh, uh, played well enough to be in it and and made it close. And and uh, I thought uh, you know. Again, 16 points in the fourth quarter. I felt like, you know, miss, 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 and, and then they're coming back. They're running back at you. Uh, you know, we got, um, I think we got screwed up on some switches there, late switches that we need to switch. Uh, I think Al got a three. I think Corkamaz got a three in that run. So, uh, and like I said, uh, we got, you know, we got things to work on these next two days, uh, and, and uh, we'll do that. Night from Kyrie, um, the second night on back to back after a long absence. Has that contributed? I mean, what do you think? I'm sure. I, I, I just think it's natural. You know, the guys uh, uh, played two fantastic games, and, and uh, I'm sure you'll have to ask them. I'm sure there was a little bit of fatigue level in there. Just, you know, that, that, that would be kind of normal. Positive seeing that many minutes, though? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, um, you know, we got we got to find that right balance, though, where we're not. You know, we don't want to overplay them. I, I, I just, uh, I, I, that's part part on me too. Understanding uh, uh, what that right balance is, so uh, we'll continue to have those discussions. Try to try to get in a good place. Uh, he, he was feeling. You know, I was communicating with him during the game. He was feeling good. Um, you know, uh, and but credit their defense. You know, they started blitzing them. Started sending two at him like a lot of teams were. He, he got it out of the blitz a couple of times. We didn't make plays out of the blitz, which which is frustrating. You know, he you know threw it to Wilson a couple of times, Rody. So uh, we'll see that. That's that's, that's something else we got to look at. You know, when they're blitzing him end the game. Is there an update on Jordan? Like beyond dislocated. So he dislocated it. He'll get it looked at tomorrow. We'll get have a have an update after that. Did you look like he was holding his hands? Is he fine? Yeah, I think he, I think he hit it a couple of games ago. I think it's just just something that's nagging. I don't think that's anything that's going to keep him out or anything. What's the blow is losing DeAndre? I mean, you um, 
you know, Jarrett got in foul trouble and you were playing Wilson at the five. I mean, yeah. how much of that? Yeah, and, and, and Nick Claxton was with Long Island, which is where he should be and, and great. So we went Wilson at the five, which, you know, you never know how those things work out. They could work out. Wilson can play the five. I thought we got a ton of good looks with Wilson at the five. They didn't go in. I think that would have really helped our cause. It would have, it would have caused some problems for them. The shots didn't go in. What about Jarrett, the way he played? It seemed like he got yeah. more aggressive after Jordan went that's down. That's the Jarrett Allen we need. Like that, that's, that's huge for us. I think that's a big reason we're in the game and able to compete with him. That he, he kind of got back to his high energy. You know, Jarrett Allen, that stretch where he was playing great, protecting the rim, uh, uh, and then rolling and finishing the rim. That was, that was a huge positive tonight. Obviously, Nick needs to need seasoning and needs to get bigger. But, I mean, if DeAndre misses any... Extended time, presumably. I have no problems about playing Nick Claxton. I think he's going to be, be an excellent player. I think he's uh, he, he if if you know it's a big if 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 DeAndre misses any time, I, I'd have no hesitation playing him.